and welcome to my channel. Today I have three easy Easter DIYs for you. DIY number one is a Dollar Tree bunny butt. We are going to be using this bunny butt cut out from the Dollar Tree, some crafters square pom-poms, a roll of this floral Dollar Tree vinyl, this white paint, and then this Hello Hobby antique wax to paint the bunny. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is remove the little hanger for the bunny, and then I'm going to use the wax for the bunny here to paint his body. When using this wax, I'm trying to do it in sort of a circular motion um, as I'm putting it on there so I don't get any lines because we're going to end up using a paper towel to rub to remove the excess wax off once I have it fully covered. Now I'm just going to go through and touch up any spots that I missed, make sure he's all fully covered. Yeah, I'm just turning them around and Painting the tail white, even though I'm going to be gluing those pom-poms on top of it, I just wanted to make sure that there weren't any um, spots that the pom-poms didn't cover, That uh, just to make sure it was all white. Now just touching up any, a couple more spots that I've missed here. And then I smeared white paint. And then I'll get that little spot that I missed right there. Okay, so now that it's dried, I'm going to take the vinyl. And I used my paper cutter just to cut some pieces out. And I'm going to rub it on. And then I'm looking for my X-Acto knife, and then I'm going to cut the little feet out. And then we have the little pom-pom, and I've got my hot glue gun, and I'm just getting the pom-poms out and seeing how many I need to glue on. And flipping it around, and then just going to glue those pom-poms on. And now I'm just putting that little hanger back in, and there is our cute little Easter bunny butt. And that is our little bunny butt. I think he turned out so cute. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. DIY number two is going to be this Easter banner made from these hanging banners for the Dollar Tree. The first thing I'm going to do is pull all of the eggs 
a part off of the ribbon. I was hoping to be able to use the ribbon again since it was just like taped on, but it wasn't doable since I couldn't get all that tape off. So instead, I'm going to use some just cream colored ribbon here, I'll show you, um, to make the spanner. The ribbon on the little basket bunny, this is Happy Easter, that's going to be our center. And I am leaving that pink ribbon on the top just to help hold the center so it can make like a swag when we're finished. And so now I'm just trying to figure out where I want to glue it down. And that's as simple as it's going to get. We're just going to glue the ribbon to the back of all these eggs. I have a ruler that is not in frame that I'm kind of measuring to make sure that my eggs are about spaced evenly as possible. And then I'm just tacking them down in the center. And then I'll go back through and glue them fully. I'm just going to glue the little bunny onto the very end and the chick that was on the other, other one will go on the other end when we get there. piece of ribbon did not hold them stable when I tried to hang it the first time so I want I'm going to go ahead and do a second layer of ribbon across it just to help keep the ones that aren't setting against something straight <laughs> wasn't quite stable enough. securely and stable um, and this did work just fine and I actually like the way it looks now that there's two ribbons going across it holding them um, I think it turned out pretty cute 
here in just a moment once we're done. Hot gluing this project is seriously so simple with the hot glue. It's a quick five minute Easter project. Um, and I think it just turned out super, super adorable. And as you can see, I have to flip all the eggs trying to figure out which way they turned since they got all twisted and weren't staying very well. What's your favorite holiday craft? Mine, I tend to do more crafts at Christmas time. Uh, I guess I'm not a big spring crafter. I, I don't know. I do have some spring and like summer decorations, but I don't do a ton of crafting. When's your favorite time to craft? And then here we are at grab another glue stick for the hot glue gun so that we can finish up this last little piece and then you'll have to let me know what you think of the super easy um, banner I love that little bunny I think he's so cute and then he's just about being very meticulous on this side There we go. And we just trim that off and let them dry. And here he is. What, what do you think? I think it turned out super, super cute. Um, tell me what you think. And yes, it is hanging on my desk. DIY number three is a wood bunny. This bunny came from a wood store local to me and I just thought he was so cute um, so this could be really really simple we're just going to take some of that antique wax that we used on the other bunny and we are just gonna paint him again using that circle motion with my paintbrush and then all over wipe it off I don't know if you're supposed to wipe it off and use a paper towel to do that. I just like the way it looks. I like the wood, how it kind of like stains the grain, almost like it's a stain. Um, so I just really like it that way. It's harder to do on those edges. It felt like the wax absorbed more in the sides of the wood, which is okay. Um, it just didn't seem like it rubbed as much off. And then... So again, just doing that circle motion and then wiping off the excess. I did not do the bottom. And then um, I did do the back as well. So I made it two-sided. Trying just to use the last of the paint up instead of getting more out. 
and then again wiping it off and I think it turned out super cute um, now we're looking at the little bunny nose and I'm gonna use this apple barrel pink camo to paint the nose and it's out of frame while I do the edge it's just a cute little pinky color um, and it's an acrylic paint I do have some chalk paint I just don't use a lot of chalk paint I don't want to spend a ton of money on the chalk paint the acrylic paint is just cheap so I like to use it glue that nose on with the hot glue gun and then use some of the apple barrel jet black to give the little bunny some eyes And I may take one of those pom poms from the Dollar Tree and put it on the back. And I smeared the eye, so awesome. But that's okay because he still turned out super cute. And then it's a little dark in this picture, but there's a little bunny and his little bunny butt. Let me know what you think. If you liked this video, please like, um, please comment, and please hit the